Oh, hello, this is Brandon with Be Clean Professionals, and look where we are. We're in Midtown, lovely Harrisburg. Tight corners, tight places, but we go ahead and we make it work. Now, like I said, we're in the middle of Harrisburg, middle, Midtown area. As you can see, we have a house cleaning. This is a duo cleaning, that's right, duo. So we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing the floors, carpeting, and uh, you know, wood floors, and we're cleaning everything out. Check out this refrigerator. As you can see, we just wanna need some attention. The freezer, all right? And what that includes, let me get this closed here. That's what's over here, buzzing and beeping. See the refrigerator? Got some little stuff in there. And then, um, of course, we're gonna go ahead and get this clean. All right. We got the cabinets, that's all I wanna be included. So we're gonna turn some lights on here. We're gonna get these sinks inside out, all right? And we got the dishwasher as well. Look at that, we're gonna clean this here. Get these edges and grooves right up along here. You'll see it on the entire video. I'll try to film it for you. Get the microwave. Actually, this guy does a pretty good job keeping his microwave clean. That's great. We're gonna clean the outside, get this grease. Go ahead and shine the stove top out. Look at all this grease build up. Ooh, that's nasty. All right, look at this in here. Okay, this is the one thing you wanna remember. If you're a real estate agent, investor, or anything like that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we can do everything all at once for you. We're a one-stop shop. See these baseboards here? We're gonna clean these windows as well. All right, that's what makes this a little different from everyone. All you have to do is give a call and we'll handle everything for you. But the, all touch points are gonna be tight, touched and sanitized and disinfected. Our cleaner does it all. So we got just a little dust up here. We're gonna make sure we clean all that stuff. These baseboards, check out these mirrors. Now we're gonna spot clean these, but they actually look pretty good. So we don't really have to do anything with them. Uh, like I said, we got these baseboards, got some dust here. And of course, you got the carpeting. Now you probably wanna ask, wow, how do you guys get your carpet equipment up the stairs? So we do some low moisture, but as you can see right here, we come prepared for everything. You have to call the professionals. You have a scrub strip, microfiber. We're gonna go ahead and carry that thing up the stairs and we're gonna get it unsafe. We're gonna get every touch point. Look at this, see that light up there? It has a little bit of dust build up. We'll get there, I'll show you it. This is the carpet we're gonna be cleaning. This one right here. And then we're gonna walk up these beautiful stairs. I would never have these in my house because I have children. We're also gonna clean the carpets on the stairs. We'll show you that too. All right, so we got some carpet here in this room. So we can get some lights on for you. Uh -oh. uh, there we go, there's the lights. Get the fan on here. All right. Carpet's not too bad, all right? This looks like they did a pretty good job. There you go. Beautiful door, how about that? Look at this little farm door here. Oh, very nice. You got a nice little uh, overlook. I love Midtown, because they have very unique homes here, and uh, they're really nice. So an also thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of all this stuff, this is a pro to move out, we'll get rid of everything in here. Um, as you can see, we got some dust build up in here. We're gonna clean that out. We're gonna clean this out of here. All appliances, okay? Inside and out. We'll open up the dryer, clean out all the dust from the dryer, make sure we clean out the vent here. That way your property or whatever you're getting is moving ready. Now this particular, this particular instance, this person is just moving out. So we're working to get their deposit back for them. We guarantee you'll get your deposit back as long as there aren't any burn holes in the carpet or anything of that sort. Um, as you can see, we have the shutters here, and then we're gonna clean the windows. Now, what makes us a little bit different here is that we, what we do is we actually open up the window, okay? When we say we clean the windows, we clean the window seals as well. So when I talk about the seals, I'm talking about this ledge up here. All right, we're talking about this ledge here. And then what we're doing that makes us different, we open up the window, and we're gonna be cleaning this ledge up in here. So we'll take a shot back, suck all that stuff out of here, and we're actually gonna wipe it down. There's some little bit of glass. But depending on this, like this surface here, it's a little wood surface. It's not gonna come up as good or as clean uh, just because it's paint already chipping and, chip and peeling, as you can see right here. All right, and also with the window, you see this build up here. We're gonna make sure we get that as part of the seal as well. So that's what we talk about when we get windows and window seals. It makes us a little bit different than a little bit of our companies. Um, of course, we'll wipe the shutters down here. Everything's gonna be wiped down and sanitized. We're gonna be totally clean. That's why this property is completely move in ready. Uh, like I said, if you're a property investor, manager, uh, manager, um, or you're just simply moving out, we'll make sure we handle this for you and get it done right the first time. 
And of course, if you don't get it right the first time, we have a 48 hour turnaround that will come out and come and clean it. As you see, we have the bathroom here. Uh, our partner's already getting started. Beautiful bathroom, plenty of light. We already got the tub done. So that's looking great. And uh, we'll just be moving. He's working up top. I'll be working down at the bottom. Like I said, I'm Brandon. I'm the owner, Brandon Lee Butler. And of course, I'm gonna be on every job site because I'm not the type of boss that sits back and relaxes and tell people what to do. I'm actually out here doing the work as well. What makes it a little bit different from everyone else. But that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started and stay tuned for the other videos. We'll show you some of the things that we're working on. Just for the time sake of the video, we might still not show any, everything, but if you do like what you're seeing, don't forget to give us a like, share on Facebook, or particularly look us up on Facebook. And um, if there's something you'd like us to see or show, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments, and we'll go ahead and try to get that done for you. I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and we're gonna get going, and we'll see how this all comes out. Stay tuned. All right, look at that window still there, look at this. That's what it looks a little. This is what it used to look like. Now this is what it's gonna look like. Look at some of this action here. Oh, oh, this AC in here. First white that we're doing. We'll do a second white with the dry one. Try to get everything off here. You're scrubbing it. It's so dry, it's pretty wet. We got this too, but as you can see, it's, this thing is a lot of tension here. This is like stuck on here. There's nothing we can get on this. Scrubbing it, rubbing it, it's really sticked on. We got the sockets here. Now we got the baseboard yet. So we're gonna go this baseboard. Actually, this rag's already wet, so I don't need to wet it again. Updates on the fridge. It's looking good. It's all cleaned up. Another thing we also get here is the seals. So we'll wipe the seals out. Let's see, the fridge is looking good. We got the cabinets. I start to get the sink out, clean out the inside of the sink. Got the countertops really well. Wipe out the cabinets. Got the grooves in here. That's what's really tedious. We just have the oven on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that down while I get the outside window. We'll actually move these here. Um, give this a good wipe. Spray it down, give it a good wipe. And then we'll wipe down the window right here. And that can include the kitchen area. We work way into the living room. Stay tight. If you are looking for a good oven cleaner, highly recommend Google one. It's the difference between you staying there for 30 minutes or staying there for about an hour and waiting for it to work. Stuff works right away. So we'll clean the inside real quick. Side here. Let that sit for about five minutes. And we'll come back right. You can already see it's already turning colors. It's already turning brown. It's already working already. We're using our special cleaner here. So this right here, it has peroxide in it, counters, walls, restrooms, kitchen, carpeting, and more, any surface. Stainless steel, whatever, all right? So I'm sharing you a little secret. That's what we're using. 
works on windows too. So we're gonna let it spray this window down. We're gonna clean it, we're gonna use two different rags here. One rag to get the dirtiness, one rag to shine. I'm sorry, just get the window. It's like a plastic window here, this is actual glass. Which I'm not mad at. So like I said, one white for the dirt. Both sides only makes sense to do both sides, right? Love this area, it's so beautiful here, Midtown. It's a nice area if you're ever looking for somewhere to get good food, you like a nice community, everyone talks to you. It's a great place to live at, Midtown, Harrisburg. Oh, yeah. New infrastructure coming in. So I'm gonna come back. We're actually gonna wipe this. Yeah, this is actually actually looks good here. No streets. It's just really hard to tell because it's a plastic window. So yeah, it's all scratched up up here at the top. You see it scratches. So, uh, got that real good there. This area, it's so beautiful. And they have a little nice garden back there. Looks like they're redoing a house over there. Only thing is, like, it's really crammed. Kind of gives you, like, a New York City vibe, you know? Or Philadelphia, you know? Everyone's crammed in, parked. But I'll tell you what, if you can get past that, this is a beautiful area to live. Like I said, everyone's friendly around here. All right, let's get back in here. We're going to work our way out of the kitchen. Oh, look, we got the oven left to do. It's uh, should be almost ready here. Looks like it's uh, getting all brown there. I'm gonna take the scrubby pad, work all that up. new gloves on here. <laughs> Let's get ready to go there, man. That stuff is burning. All right, so we're gonna wipe this out here. Good white. All that there. Wipe all this junk out. I'm actually going to uh, let the video go. I don't need two hands to get in here so I don't fall on my face. And uh, wipe this out and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. I mean, you can already see it's coming up pretty well. We got it all wiped out here. Also got that back area back along there. I got that pretty good. That was the most going to come up. If you are a cleaner, you know there's a better solution or something out there that you think could get all that stuff up, please let me know. Because we like to stay on top of it. We don't know. We're really professionals, but there's always new chemicals and new things coming out all the time to make the job way more efficient and a lot better. Um, but like I said, if you're a cleaner, if you're watching these videos, or maybe you just like to clean yourself, you know, you find something at your house that works great, please let us know so we can go ahead and be great at our job too. So um, here we are, we're gonna do the, the lid now here, the regular service, uh, the oven, the door of the oven here. Wash this stuff off the glove. All right, and then we're gonna allow that to sit for a little while. In the meantime, I'm gonna come back over and we're going to spray down these cabinets here, get inside these grooves quick. There's some stuff that was left in here. Uh, 
was a fire hydrant and some color sample. Get rid of this stuff here. Leave the fire hydrant, that's important. Let's throw this stuff away. Some rags. There. All right, I'm going to wrap myself. It's been a while since we've been here. We've been, we got here about 11, working on 1 o'clock now. And I've been in the kitchen. This is the longest I've actually ever been in any kitchen. Um, the main thing that's really making it tedious is uh, the cabinets have these edges on them, these little edges. And we have to clean those by hand manually. It's not just a simple wipe down. I think, you know, put your finger on these grooves, get it all clean. So I like spraying the whole thing down, allowing the chemical to work, do its job. Let's sit for about two to three minutes. This has a peroxide in it, so it's really strong. And it's also disinfecting as well. It's cleaning and disinfecting all in one, which is a great thing. All in one cleaner, cutting down time. If you're a cleaner, you know that cleaning and disinfecting are two different things, but when you can do it in one, when you've had the proper solution, it will go ahead and cut corners for you and make life a lot easier. Um, as you can see, getting the hole, getting these grooves down in here. Like I said, you gotta scrub these, get these grooves good. A lot of this is paint peel up. Um, just years of being here. So we'll the edges here will get all those. All right. And also these doorknobs, you can see how it has like some buildup right there. That was another thing here. The knobs were really greasy. So we had to scrub, or I had to scrub each one of these knobs, <coughs> excuse me, pretty well. All right, to get that stuff off. Very small grooves. We haven't seen this property when we first listed it, our first bid for it. Uh, we put it in, which we normally do. So we actually charge the full pricing because we haven't viewed it because we just don't know what we're getting into. And then we'll adjust it while we're on site. Um, you know, we always ask every client, if you do call in, we want to see the property first. This is a better idea. Like this particular person, I believe they said they did not have a dog. I'm not sure they probably did tell me, but there's a lot of hair, which makes it a more tedious job to get things done. So that's something you want to keep in count. If you know you are a cleaner looking into getting the cleaning business. Because pet cleanings are very, very tedious. Um, there's always going to be a lot of hair. Uh, we personally, and when it comes to getting a, um, a re recurring cleaning, we do not do any pet houses only because the hair is never ending. Unless it's a, uh, like a Bichon or a super hypoallergenic pet that does not shed as much. A couple Maltese's. They're not really sheddable animals. I mean, they shed, but they don't shed a lot, so it makes the job a lot easier. But when you have pets, it really puts a bang on the job. We'll be there for hours just trying to pick up hair. Um, and you're asking me how hot I know. Well, I got it before. <laughs> so, all right, so really, I'm gonna continue to clean just for the sake so we can get out of here. So we've been here for a while. Um, we're trying to get out of here pretty soon. We have a few more cleanings today. This isn't the only home we have to clean. We have a couple apartments to do and some more carpet cleaning. So I'm gonna cut the video short here as I continue to get this clean here with two hands instead of one. All right, stay tuned. Right, see those cabinets going over this here? No difference. Right. So I don't know if they had a pet. There's a lot of hair, look at my rag. Oh, there's hair on it somewhere. Let's see. Yeah. 
Have this one over here, all white, all the way around. I'm gonna wipe this over here, the whole way around the wall. All right, all right. All right. All right. so over here, these light fixtures. So I'm gonna work my way through here. So, right, so we're all finished here. As you can see, the carpet's already finished up here. I'll show you, he's doing them downstairs. I'll show you the process. See, the baseboards are all completed. Showed you a little bit earlier. This room wasn't too bad, pretty straightforward. I got the shutters here. They're all dusted and cleaned off. They were dusty. All right, I'll turn off all these lights. Oh, beautiful skylight there. All right, so you got all these here. Seen the appliances. All right. Dryer's all cleaned up. Got that little there in the area. One of the side there has been cleaned. All right, and then you see the knobs are done, all the touch points. Usually get a little tired here. Yeah, I got the baseboards, got the shutters. Remember this uh, here, I opened it up for you. I told you it was not gonna get totally clean because um, just all the sediment. dry chip paint. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of dry chip paint. Try to get that out of there. Pretty tough. I'll take these pieces along with us. Knock those out there. But it's hard to clean this only because it's, it's all chipping up. It just all gets caught and it all starts to peel. It gets really bad, but we got the most the large stuff up out of there. All right, cars haven't been cleaned. I hope we caught them downstairs. Look at this tile in here, it's a really nice tile. Yeah. Nice guy, right here. it's really bright. The tile already shows you that, love this tile. Toilet. I'm gonna do a wipe down in here. That's a good thing about doing these uh, cleanings. We'll do the wipe down inside the toilet, checking on everything after. So we're gonna wipe that out on the inside with the bowl. Now oh, there you go. He's going the carpet now. I'm gonna put that on the stairs. Grab the stairs too. The same thing as a 175 buffer here. You see it's vibrating and spinning. All right, that's what you want to see. I just want to get these uh, stains up. As long as it's wet, very really wet. If you get this little stain here, just like show the video. Don't go all across it. See it slowly getting up there. Let's go back and forth on it, just for the video. Stain 
out there. Still want to work one out a little bit more. We're going to do these stairs. I want to go back up, grab that toilet. Make sure we get that toilet nice and clean. And I don't have a brush with me. It's like we're doing that thing by hand. You probably don't want to see that, but you got to do what you got to do. Let's make sure all our customers are satisfied. Regardless of what it is. I want to go up there, scrub it, get it all done. And we're going to get out of here and I'll show you the rest of the downstairs in a second. Well, it's all clean now. Got it in here. All right, all I got to do in here, I mean, we got in here, the refrigerator. Now this actually has like pins in it and that stuff is built in in between. I could not get this open without damaging it. So we left it like that. I'm gonna let the customer know that's the only part we weren't able to clean how successful one. The whole kitchen is almost done. Just gotta clean out the sink here. These are some special keys. Clean out the sink. Do a little bit of dusting from moving things around. Like I said, we'll clean out the sink. Special keys here. A little suit of settlement that's left over from cleaning. But everything's all finished. Like I said, we got the seals. We got the dishwasher here, all up inside. Got the base of it. All of came out okay. Got that all cleaned up. Got the top here. The cabinets are all good. All right. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna sleep and mop next. And we're all finished. Like I said, if you're in the Harrisburg, Lincolnshire, York area, we're gonna get a combo cleaning, get everything all done at once without um, you know having to call multiple people. Give us a call. And so we started at 11, it's going two o'clock now. So we get it done pretty timely, it's gonna look two. And if it's a larger home, we'll come with more. Uh, we have about eight people on payroll, so we're not a small company, uh, but we get it all done. Make sure it gets done correctly and right for you so you get your deposit back. All right, stay tuned. We're going to get the stairs down. This one we got 175. We got a spray the solution on there. Using a natural fiber pad. We're going to have to scrub it all the way up. Get all that dirt and set them in there. That's just, just going to dry within an hour. This car was going to dry within an hour. You've seen where he was at. So you scrub that stain area area. It's like still there. You might want to hit this with the buffer. And then that, that might come up a little more. And then uh, we're going to get out of here. I'm just going ahead and sweep. A little stain, you know see it? A little circle. All right. All right, so sleeping this whole floor, sections, set there's going to be a, some type of pet hair. Look at all this pet hair, look at all this hair. It came from the steps. So. Here? Yup. Just right here, all that hair. That's wow, the look at all this hair on there, boom, on the stairs. Definitely a pet in here. All right, so. We're gonna go ahead and get this done. We're gonna mop and we're gonna get out of here. And that's the end of this show. Stay tuned for the next house cleaning. Like I said, Lancaster area, York area. If you're looking to go ahead and get your house clean combo, get it done right, correctly, in a timely manner. Give us a call. We do everything from power washing, um, stripping wax, tile grout, everything. You name it, we do it, we clean it. We'll get it done. It's just not myself here. We have a team of eight other people. Go ahead and make sure we get you service and get it done. If you like what you see, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. And also don't forget to uh, like in the comments there what you like to see. We'll go ahead and try to get it shown for you. Stay tuned.